today on this thing right there, we've got our coffee table done. We've got our kitchen slide out done. And we've got our bedroom slide out done, but there's one important thing we're still missing. And that is, that is this right here. We need to, we need to finish our interior. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So we still have one big piece of this rigid foam insulation here left over. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to insulate probably down in this area. I don't know if we're going to bother with up here, but we'll put our insulation on. Then we'll probably skin over with some of the, the three millimeter birch plywood that we have left. And then our plan all along has been to build some shelves kind of over the, the wheel wells here. So you can take advantage of that space. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get started cutting some, some cardboard probably, some foam, some wood, and see how things start to fit up. And we'll do an update in a minute here. But before we get down to work, check this out. So Alan and I have always wondered why this panel right here has weathered a lot worse than the rest of the car. And we kind of theorized that maybe some work had, be, had been done on it at some point. And check this out. So on the opposite side, you've got these clips for the window right here that I guess we're probably used to line it up at the factory. Over here, no clips. And you also have a bunch of glue oozing out. So that means this window has been replaced, which I think confirms our theory that some work was done on this panel at some point and didn't get as good of a paint job as the rest of the car. Mystery solved. is the next day and we let our glue dry overnight. So let's see what we got. We got our panel in here. Uh, it fit kind of nicely behind the weather stripping from the door. And then I screwed it in rather than glue everything in because we still need to do some accessory work. Uh, so wiring and stuff like that. So I want the panel to be able to come off. Uh, we've got quarter inch or six millimeter wood covering up the sides here. We're gonna need to do a little bit of sanding on that. Uh, but that is all in there now. So next up, probably gonna start over here, maybe do a panel to cover up the rest of that. The top, I think for now, I'm gonna leave uncovered because I have an idea for some ambient lighting and that requires some wiring too. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, but then yeah, we'll do our panel here and then probably start building out some shelves for over the wheel wells. So without further ado, more cutting.
right. So we got our panels finished off on the back there on both sides. So next up, we got to make some shelves and cover up my humps. My humps, my lovely whatever. Uh, so I don't really have too much of a plan here except cover these bad boys up. Maybe just like some sort of square shelf with a lip on the edge, sort of a tray so things don't fall off. Um, and that's, that's about it. This one's obviously going to have to be different than that one, but let's get to work. Woo! All right, so our shelves are in here. Uh, this one, this one's kind of tall. This one, a little bit shorter. But they should both hold stuff. I considered, I mean, so admittedly they're just boxy. I mean, they're they're a little boring. I did consider making them like angly and more interesting looking, but in the end I decided that more surface area up top was gonna be better for camping, especially in such a small space. So I mean, maybe you could, you know, fold up some underwear and put it up here, or maybe some pantaloons or some skivvies or, you know, just, just whatever else you can fold up and throw up there. And so up here, I had to start the shelves back behind this line right here, because if I came up too far, our secret snack storage compartment, which is right now a jack storage compartment, wouldn't open. Uh, and then I wound up going just a little bit further back just to make the, the piece of wood sit on the, the wheel well nicely. So all this stuff right here, I'm thinking maybe we'll just do carpet. We've got this black carpet right here. Maybe we'll use that. Or maybe we'll bust out a bunch more wood. I mean, probably not. That's it, it takes a while to do. Next up, what we're gonna do is, since these are so boring, we're gonna we're gonna liven them up a little bit. So get ready for that. And then we're also gonna take all of this out of here and go ahead and finish it because there's no point in waiting. Because last time I waited to finish a bunch of stuff, it took forever. So today we're just gonna coat everything and spar your thing, just like the floor. I'm here to see you. What are you doing in my closet? You come to raid your stash. You can only use the pink fabric. Mm, I don't know if Sarah Tara likes pink. You could use some nice Baylor fabric. No, no one wants that. That's terrible. What? This is kind of camping themed. Oh. This? Yeah. Yeah, that's classy. Pirates are. Did you just throw a shoe at me? Actually, I guess we could use more of our camping fabric. We should use this. Okay, so everything is dry now. We did uh, two coats of spar urethane, then I wet sanded with some 400 grit sandpaper, and one final coat, so we've got a really smooth surface on everything here. We got our Zero to Awesome accoutrements on the sides of our shelves. And so next, what we're gonna do is, you may have seen me cut these holes here and it's it's not because I forgot about the speakers but it's because I just made the shelves as big as I wanted to and figured we'd accommodate the speakers you know when we needed to so it turns out our six by nine speakers are going to have a hole that big to hear them through but you know Sarah Terry don't care 
The reality is these speakers are blocked by the, uh, the slide out anyway, so they're gonna be hard to hear. So to kind of finish off those holes, we're gonna take some of the, the same fabric that we use in our sun visors, uh, some same spray adhesive, and we will put that in here, and then we will put everything all back together and throw it into the Xterra. Here we go. So when you enter, this right here is the master suite. All your guests can stay outside, I think. Uh, but yeah, all the panels fit in here like they did before. Now they're just finished in Spire Your Thing. We got um, our shelves there. We got our speakers back there. And you got this side similar. Eh, speakers back there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so up here, we're still gonna do a strip of some sort, I think probably all the way down, do some backlit LED lighting. We also have, um, we have a fan that's gonna go somewhere up there. So we probably need to do like a whole episode on 12 volt, well, blah. So we probably need to do like a whole episode on 12 volt wiring because we got the LEDs, we've got the fan, we've got the winches, yes, multiple winches. Uh, what else do we have? There's, there's more stuff, I'm sure. Uh, so hit subscribe to stay tuned for that. Uh, but until next time, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay down in this fine wood interior. <sighs> See y'all later.